Feminists, why are we still talking to the anti-fems? I ask this question in all seriousness because, as we all know, as we all have seen, these people, the anti-fems, are not involved in this discussion to have a discussion. They are not trying to talk to us so that they can hash out our issues and their issues and reach a peaceable accord. Nobody, I think, on our side can argue that that is what they want. Has anybody seen that? Because I haven't. I know pretty much no one has because that's not what they want. They are in this to win social points. When the anti-feminist wants to engage the feminist in a debate, it is almost never, if ever, about actually reaching an accord of ideas and furthering understanding. It is about them pwning you, about them winning over you. Because to them, this entire argument is about victory and loss. It's not about understanding. It's not about furthering the community. It's not about reaching better ideas for the, you know, the furtherance of humanity. It's about winning against the feminists. They want to defeat us. So, what do they do? And I know we've all seen it. When you bring up serious issues, they pivot away from it. They find a different topic, especially when you press them down, because they don't want to stick to the points. They don't even stick to their own claims when pressed. They're willing to change their beliefs in order to fit the larger picture of anti-feminist ideology. Any claim they make is subject to retroactive editing or denial based on the fact that it no longer fits the narrative. There is no intellectual honesty here. Furthermore, Half of what they do is simply attacks on the feminist community. Look at any comment section on any major feminist group or person or page and see the amount of vitriolic hatred that comes from the other side and understand that this side is not about understanding us. They're about defeating us. They're about winning over us. So the one thing that we should not be doing is engaging them as though they want to have an honest discussion. All that does is give them a podium with which to speak their hateful ideology, and it gives them an air of legitimacy that they do not deserve. So why give them the platform that comes with that debate integrity of wanting to have an honest discussion? That is what a debate table, the chair for debate is for, is it not? To sit up there and have an honest discussion where everybody can hear it and evaluate things and come to their own conclusions. If one side is not willing to play by this rule, then they're not having the debate and thus do not deserve to sit at that table. It's very, very, very simple logic. And so, what do we do instead of talking to them? Because I think anybody who's willing to have that honest reflection here will admit that talking to especially the heads of the anti-feminists, but the movement in general, is not very productive. They have made up their mind regardless of truth, evidence, or reason. What we need to do is reach the undecided, the ignorant, the uninformed, the regular person who thinks that maybe both sides are too extreme, or just isn't aware that there's a need for feminism because they're detached from these concerns. There's a lot of people, in fact the majority of the people out there, who are effectively uncommitted. They don't know, they don't believe, they don't understand, whatever have you, and those are the people we need to reach because Let's, let's be real here. This is not a battle against the anti-feminists, not really. This is a battle for the heart and soul of society. This is a battle for how the people view things. Because the anti-feminists become irrelevant the minute the people decide that feminism is the way to go. If society falls in line behind something, that is what happens. The anti-feminists understand this well. That's why they make a spectacle of us. That's why they don't fight us the way we want to fight. Because it's all about the arena of public attention and appearance. If they make fools of us and they make us continue to fight them in losing battles that they orchestrate, we appear weak. We appear foolish. We appear like we don't know what's going on. Because they're dictating the terms of the fight and we're just blithely marching in and fighting it on their terms. Well, that needs to stop. Don't fight the anti-feminist. Fight for the people they want to control. Fight for the average person, the regular person out there. Fight to get information out there to people that might be swayed the other direction. Because those are the people that can be won. Not the hardcore anti-feminist sitting over there frothing at the mouth at the thought of a Wonder Woman movie. Those aren't the people you're going to win. 
The only way those people change their mind is when the rest of society looks at them and goes, we've gotten over that shit. Why are you still on that? And they're shamed into it. They're ridiculed and forgotten until they move on to the page now. That's how you win this fight with them. You win society, not them.